Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be glorious day to you. Huh? The peace of the Lord be upon you. Hallelujah. Happy new month to you. Huh? Oh, bless God for making us to see another glorious new month. And I will say to him, may Lord be the glory. Hallelujah. I turn to the message I'm giving today that God cannot entrust to you what you cannot undo. That thing that you cannot undo, God will not entrust it to you. Because he knows that when he gives it to you, he abuses it. Sir. And it cannot be given to you. So when giving a child a car to go and ride when it's not due, automatically you're sending that child to death. You're sending that, sh that child to a heavenly grave. And the same thing with the Father God. Uh, when he knows that you cannot handle such thing, uh, he will not give it to you till you're ready now. Uh, or till you're valuable to handle such thing. Uh, God cannot entrust it to you because he is watching over us. He's testing us every day to see what we can handle. And don't think you can handle those things that, that you're not ready. One thing is for you to be ready. Another thing is for you to undo it. And when you're not ready, you cannot undo it. Hallelujah. And before we continue, let's have a word of prayer. Now. Everlasting Father, God, I bless you again this hour. I adore you, Lord Jehovah, mercy for whom you are. Be that glorified, be that exalted for this opportunity now, for this privilege of giving to us again, O oh God, uh, as your word comes forth again to the Lord Father, speak to us, O oh God. Uh, and as many that will listen to the sound of my voice, Father, I pray that you speak to them, O oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, give them the revelation of your words, O oh God. Uh, thank you, precious Father, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' glorious name, I have prayed. Uh, Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And once again, happy glorious new month to you all. We thank God for giving us a privilege to see a new month. Uh, the eighth month of the year, if the Lord has not been on our side, where could we have been? Uh, and the Lord has been on our side. He has crossed us uh, to this new month. Uh, and this month, this new month, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things to do now. Uh, and all, one thing is stable that don't rely on yourself. Uh, don't trust on yourself or human. Let your trust be in God. Uh, and you begin to see the hands of God upon your life. Uh, and this, uh, this evening again, I'm coming with a word that I tie to that. That you cannot undo. God cannot entrust to you. God cannot give you. God cannot give you that thing that he knows. Uh, you cannot handle now it is when he knows that you can undo it uh, you know sometimes we are good to say i can do it i can do it i can do it uh, most of us we are just too good at singing the song yes i can do it yes i i know i can do it uh, no you know sometimes what we sing is not what god is saying uh, you can do it yes uh, but when the quality of doing it is not there of course you cannot do it uh, you might see yourself that you're ready and if one thing is missing in the quality now uh, that makes you not to be ready for example now uh, when you give a child of 10 years old you give that child a car key to go and drive uh, not that you bought the car for the child you give the child a driver but you just buy a car and give the car key to the, the to the child and say go and drive the car automatically you don't mean well for that child uh, you want the child to die young, uh, hallelujah. And the same thing, uh, so no matter how much you love your son, uh, no matter how much you love your daughter, you can never do such a thing. Uh, all you could do is either you give him or her a driver, or you wait till she's up to date, uh, she's matured enough uh, to be able to ride a car. And the same thing our uh, father God do now, uh, when he knows that you cannot handle those things, uh, he will not give it to you. And God tests us to see now. He knows. He is the unknowing God. Uh, and at the same time, even if he knows us, uh, he tests us before he give, he, handle, he give anything for us to handle. God is looking for those who are valuable now. Uh, who is available that he can say that. And if you don't make yourself available, of course God cannot trust you with a worker. Uh, because when God is looking for people now, uh, for example, God is looking for people when he called, he answered. Uh, and he will not give you the work that you will do when he called, you will not be there. So when God is looking for people, he'll go for those he knows. Uh, 
knowing he knows that when he called, they will be available. And those who don't make themselves available, go for God will not go for this. Uh, and if we look at the Bible, we see that so many people in the Bible, so many men and women of God, uh, so pe many people that God used in the Bible, you see that God tested them. Uh, even if it's unknowing God, uh, he tests them to see that uh, if they still trust uh, if he can entrust his work over them, uh, if they can be able to undo what is given to them. Uh, hallelujah. We're going to see first from the book of Genesis. Uh, you know, today we sing, uh, Abraham blesses your mind. We sing the song, uh, and we will do what Abraham did. <laughs> it is easy for us to sing. Uh, another thing is for us to do what he did, uh, because if you cannot do it, uh, why should you claim the blessing that? Uh, Let's see the book of Genesis chapter 22, from verse 1 to 2. Genesis 22, we start from there, if time will permit us, uh, hallelujah. Genesis chapter 22, from 1 to 2, it says, Some time later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he said, he replied. Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Mori. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain that I will show you. Now, let me add verse 32. He said, Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and he, and he saw Isaac. When he had caught enough wound for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about her. Now, this is another message for another day. That is not what I'm talking about today. The one I am talking about today is that God tested Abraham. Before, before God made promises uh, with Abraham, uh, before God uh, play, make Abraham to be only his, uh, God tested him. Uh, hallelujah. By what did he test him? Uh, we remember by that Abraham could, did not have a child uh, until his whole age. Uh, and now God just said, uh, Abraham is a man of God, Abraham is a man that fear God. Uh, and after waiting for long years, we see how Abraham have waited, uh, waited for the promises of God. Uh, Abraham after waited for a long time. And the child that God has finally given him, uh, and God just said, Abraham, this child, go and sacrifice it to me. I, if it is to be myself, I don't even know how I will reply. Will I just get up in the morning and prepare? No. Maybe I will say, God, are you the one speaking? Are you sure you're the one speaking? Maybe at the first time I'll say, first say, Satan, get behind you, Satan. <laughs> we are very fond of doing that. Get behind me. And even if we know that it's God, we'll pretend not to hear. So, God tested Abraham to see how much he can entrust on him. Hallelujah. And Abraham did not fail. I wish Abraham failed. We could not be talking about Abraham today. Maybe we could have been talking about someone else. He did not fail. He get up uh, as God directed him without no argument. The Bible did not record that Abraham argued and said, God, is this you that is talking? Abraham did not argue. Uh, God said, uh, this is what I want you to do. Go and sacrifice your son to me. We, I, it is sweet that the written that said, no, that uh, it was a test. Uh, Abraham did not know. And he get up and he go according to where God asked him. Uh, after Abraham passed, passed the test, uh, and a God uh, recognizing that uh, as a man that fear God uh, on a daily basis, uh, God is looking at you. God is watching uh, if He can trust you now, uh, and that thing He know that you cannot handle. No amount of talk you talk, uh, no amount of preaching you preach, uh, no amount of Bible verse you quote, uh, no amount of speaking in tongues you do. If God knows uh, that this thing, if I give it to you, mess up with it. Uh, God will not give you that work. Uh, let's see now uh, the book of Luke. Luke chapter 16, verse 10 to 14. Luke 16, 10 to 14 says that. Uh, hallelujah. He said, Whoever can be trusted with very little cannot also be trusted with much. Uh, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest uh, with more. So, if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? Uh? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will, give, who will give you property of your own? 
No one can let me stop there. Oh, let me finish on this. Uh, no one can serve two master. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and man either. Hallelujah. If you cannot be trusted with one, with something that is given to you, with the little thing that I can God uh, trust you with much. Uh, and God knows us. Uh, he knows us and he has tested us. He's testing us. Uh, and what, there was a time ago, something happened. And God told me that because of this, I know you will not. Uh, and that is why I give you this gift. Uh, God is testing me. I never knew now that it was God is testing me with something. And when I came up, came up of it, and God said that because of this, God is testing us on a daily basis. And when God knows that to that thing, that work, that that thing that He wants to place in your hands, that you cannot handle it, He will not give it to you. It's not about your pastor. It's not about the people around you. It is God that has the final sins when it comes to the things of God. Uh, when it comes to business of God, uh, it is it that have the final sins. Uh, and you might be praying for it. Uh, you might be waiting for it. Uh, when you're not ready to handle it, uh, God cannot give it to you. It is when you're ready now, uh, after thoroughly check, uh, after thoroughly control, uh, and he knows that, yes, uh, this is my son, uh, this is my daughter can handle this, uh, and he will give it to you because he knows that you are going to handle it well. And if God knows that if I give you money, you're going to steal. Uh, if I give you money to control money, uh, and you're going to be stealing from it, uh, God can never entrust you with money, uh, because he knows uh, you're going to mess up. Uh, and when you mess up with you, you bring disgrace to God. Uh, and God will not allow that. Uh, and the question is, uh, are you ready uh, to handle the things that God wants to give to you? And for you to be ready, uh, you need to be ready in no way. One availability is important. Uh, many of us want to do the things of God. But we are not available. We keep giving excuses. Uh, we do it when we are comfortable. Listen, uh, doing the things of God, uh, you need by you must leave your comfortable zone uh, to do the things of God. You know, we cannot be comfortable in your place uh, where you are uh, and said I want to work for God. No, no, sacrifice needs to be made to be done. Uh, when I mean sacrifice, I'm not talking only on money. Uh, the sacrifice of money, there are sacrifice of your time, uh, and that is the most sacrifice that we can give uh, the our time. Uh, and many of us, uh, we are too comfortable uh, that that time of 18, uh, we don't want to play with it. Uh, we don't want to give it to God. Uh, we want to can do anything that we want but, but when it come to giving God our time uh, it become a problem uh, availability have uh, become a problem into many believers uh, they don't have the time uh, they are not available uh, when God is looking for someone to send uh, they are there by matter uh, they are not there to do it uh, and this is what one the one of the reasons uh, that make you not to be ready now uh, you can be a good preacher for all I can uh, God is not looking for only those who are pre oh I preacher uh, what is somebody is in need that needs you to go and, and respond to that will you be available now nah? no no nah. you just want to preach uh. it's not the, the taste of god is not about all the preaching and the preaching and the preaching uh. so god will not give to you and for you to be ready now uh, you must clean yourself uh. you must prepare yourself uh. you must make yourself available now uh. you must make yourself uh, to be ready now uh, for the good work of god uh, for the user uh. the second timothy verse 2 21 to 20 she says that uh, in a in a house uh, there are different kinds of uh uh, different, different kinds of instruments in a house, uh, different kinds of articles in a house, uh, but the one that cleans itself, uh, that made itself, uh, that prepares itself, uh, will be used for the master service. Uh, let's quickly read that place. I will be concluding with that. Uh, Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 21. 2 Timothy 2, 21 says, Hallelujah. In a large house, okay, I'm reading from 20. In a large house, there are articles of only, article not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for special purpose and some for canon common use. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purpose, made only useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. Those who cleanse themselves uh, 
from the letter will be instrument uh, that you want to be instrument for God to use, uh, instrument for special purpose. Uh, they want to be an instrument for special purpose. They want to you want God to use you now for his purpose. Uh, are you ready for the master user? Uh, he said they will be made, they will be for special purpose, uh, made only useful to the master. That you want to be useful for the master, that you make yourself available. And you will you you need to pass the test, uh, the test uh, that will make you to be ready now. Let's see the book of Job also, Job chapter 23, verse 10. Job 23, verse 10. Hallelujah. And because of time, I might be concluding with that one. Not until you make yourself available, God cannot use you. God is not looking for those when they feel comfortable. That is what most of us do now. When I feel comfortable, and when I know I did not feel like her, I don't, I will not do. It is only when I feel like her. Job, Job 23, verse 10. He said, But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as God. When God tests you now, will you see you to be an available person? When God tested you now, will you pass the test that made God to undo to you those things that He wants you to do? Or when God tests you, tests you, He will see you that you cannot undo either. Are you ready to handle the business God wants to entrust in your hand? Are you ready to handle those things that God wants to trust in your hands? And what makes you to be ready? Because if you're not ready, you cannot be good for the master. You cannot be useful for the master purpose. God is looking for those who are valuable. God is looking for those who are ready. And this month, the month is just beginning. Make yourself available for the things of God. The work is plentiful. And the laborers are few. And we have so many laborers, uh, many people in the vineyard, uh, they, they are not laborers. Uh, God is looking for laborers. Uh, the one he can send here, the one that can go in, not the one that can come in. So are you ready and available for the master user? God is looking for, who is ready for his user, for his purpose. Uh, not those who are saying it, I am ready. But the reality is that they are not ready. And are you ready for the use of God? Uh, and if you're ready, God will use you for his purpose. And when God uses you now, you will know that yes of the truth. Uh, hallelujah. Make yourself available and let God use you for, it, for his purpose. Uh, hallelujah. May the Lord bless you so into our heart in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen.